We're gonna solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. But when we go to solve, we're gonna find complex solutions. In other words, um, answers that have I in them. This is the huge advantage of the quadratic formula is it always works, unlike factoring. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our formula here. So we've got our formula for the quadratic. We want to identify A, B, and C. So in this case, our A is the number in front of X squared. So that's going to be 2. The number in front of X there, that's B. The number at the end is C. Next, I'm going to grab my formula. If you use really good notation, you want to put a set of parentheses where the variables are. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And let's substitute those values. So negative b, put in negative 5 there, negative negative 5, negative 5 squared minus 4a. So put a 2 there. C all over 2a. The vocabulary for the name of what the answer is to underneath the square root, that's called the discriminant. We're going to simplify there to get that answer. So negative 5 squared is 25. Negative 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 11 is negative 88. And 25 minus 88 is negative 63. So this is the discriminant. Then out front, negative, negative 5. That's going to be 5. And then in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Now I want to start simplifying. Really is going to come down to really simplifying this part here. So let's rewrite negative 63 expanded. And that is going to be negative 1, or a negative, multiplied by 3 times 3 times 7. So when you go to simplify, the negative comes out as an I, two of a kind, we have a pair of 3, so a 3 comes out. So we're going to get an I coming out, a 3 coming out, and then the 7 is trapped inside. Okay, so here I still have the 5 in front, and then I have a 3 coming out, and the negative comes out as an I. The 7 is still trapped underneath there, all over 4. Keep in mind that we really want our final answer in A plus BI form. It's just a formatting thing of complex numbers to make the A and the B stand out. So the first thing I'm gonna do there is have each of these go with the four. So I'm gonna have five over four, plus or minus, then three I root seven over four. We're really close now, but we're gonna take this I and just move it off to the side. So I still have my five over four, and then I have 3 root 7 over 4 and the i off to the side. This is my final answer. And you can see that the a is 5 fourths and the b is 3 root 7 over 4.